Dirk Wunderlich. Uh, I, Tom and I came together in 2005. Uh, it was a I'd say it was somewhat inspired because it was totally out of the blue that uh, he found me. And I was able to work, I was in 2005, he was just completing his painting, the 50th anniversary of Disneyland. He was Sleeping Beauty's Castle and that was his first painting with Disney and that started a, a, a great relationship. He started doing, his idea was to do a narrative panorama of Disney animation, taking each animated film and trying to tell as much of the story in the painting as he could. And I had a background uh, freelancing with Disney a decade prior to that, so he leaned on me to prepare all the characters for him so he wouldn't have to worry. He could just worry about his vision and his light and his composition and being the master that he was. So that carried on uh, up until he passed away in 2012. And now myself and another artist are trying to carry on his vision. I'm fairly, I've only been doing events like this for a little over a year. It's a fairly new thing for me. Uh, most of my life I was in the background and working with Tom. I was just helping him in the background. Now I'm kind of the face of the company now, of his brand, and it's amazing. Uh, people are just so appreciative when they come to see me and I sketch things for them. And some even come because they know I'm here. I can't believe that. I just don't know how that happens. But I have to keep telling them, I'm getting more from you. Just seeing the appreciation and seeing how happy these paintings make you, uh, it's, it's fulfilling. What would she like on the back? Um, she would like Tigger, and you can only do one? Yeah, there's so many. Well, yeah, on these small ones. Can you do Tigger and Eva? Oh, yeah. Another reason I'm really excited to be here at Disney Springs is this is the first time my new painting, all mine. I wasn't behind the scenes, this is mine. I've just completed the Aristocats. I love that so many people said, oh, while I was working on it, I was at the art festival at Epcot. And when I said, oh, I'm working on the Aristocats, oh, Oh, that's my favorite painting. I got that so much, so I was really, that really encouraged me even more. So in doing the Aristocats, well, I had to watch the movie again because it had been a long time since I'd seen it. And what, it's like, what do you put together? Do you have them out in the country when they're lost? Or do you, they had to be back in Paris. So this is their reunion, and I put as many characters as I could without getting it too cluttered. So we've got the major characters right up front, the family, the other cats, and uh, the sidekicks, the musical cats, the alley cats, uh, our little side, the, uh, the cat with the trumpet, I think he's called Scat Cat, and his voice was an incredible musician and such around that time, Scatman Crothers, you may have heard that name, but that's a great painting. The, I mean, the great movie. I hope I've done a great painting to match the great movie, but, and 
you might notice if you look close at the carriage, we have the, 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 the madam that owned the Duchess and the other cats, and the butler, who turned out to be a really the villain of the piece, scowling down at the little cat trying to get on the carriage. So, I'm so happy it's here for the first time in Disney World. So, again, come see it. And then you'll come really close so we can see the white rabbit. Now, come really close and we'll just be hiding around it. Before I started doing these events, when I st first started working with Kincaid, I was doing a lot of video for him uh, at his events. And it was one huge event, and it was a huge line of people that had purchased paintings, waiting to get them uh, signed and autographed. I knew there was this one woman in line, I could tell she was a cancer survivor. So I walked up to her and asked if I could have her on camera. And I asked her, what is it about Tom's work that brought you here? And they give me hope. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and uh, that's, that's what Tom's life was. He wanted to do art that would make people feel good, not art that you put up there because it was popular. So uh, that's, that's why I'm still doing this. I'm 71 years old. Uh, I don't think I'll ever retire and because the people are so good. Kind of cut over and then go over to Sierra College. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Disney Springs, the art of Disney. It's, you know, way at the back end of Disney Springs, but you won't believe it'll be worth it if you find it. There's so much art here and Thomas Kincaid, is, his art is so popular. And I'm Thomas Kincaid's legacy artist now. I'm carrying on his vision. I would love to meet you. I'm here this weekend, this weekend only. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Every day. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. There's wonderful art. Kincaid, other artists, you need to f come and find Disney, the art of Disney in Disney Springs. It's way toward the back. Well, it's acro right across from the Christmas store. So everybody should know where that is. So I want to see you here. Even if you don't buy a Kincaid, I would still like to talk. So come, come and see me.